Hi you guys, Thai. It's me, Thai, here from my home in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. And uh, last night we actually got rain. Um, yeah, uh, tomorrow would be my four month anniversary of moving here. And it has never rained here in the entire four months that I've been here until last night. So, uh, yeah, it was just a nice night. I, um, my ex-girlfriend, uh, she, she went to go show me her uh, new apartment that she got. And, uh, she had just invited me to stay overnight because her roommate um, ended up going out to the province with her uh, Bahrain boyfriend. Bahrain is foreign boyfriend. So, uh, um, yeah, actually, for I, I asked her how much she was paying for this new place that she got because she used to just live in a, a guest house like me. Um, her employer had, I think, like, I don't, I don't remember if it was eight girls or whatever uh, sleeping up above there. Just they let all the workers um, rent a room for cheap or whatever and uh, she ended up <clears throat> losing her job now I um, yeah you know the economy is just especially in the service industry with her she does like manicures and pedicures and does people's hair and stuff like that too so um, I, I found her a new job working as a house cleaner at a restaurant and guest house and she just loves the heck out of that job she told me she's working seven days a week um, Starts work at 7 a.m. and uh, finishes up at 5 p.m. Just happy as heck. So she's got really nice hours. And she's telling me, uh, we, we walked to her place last night and she's like, I think she was gonna hire a tuk tuk in the beginning. And uh, I think she said it was gonna be like 5,500. And I was like, oh, let's just walk. I was like, cause for um, 7,300, that's still within like an hour of a person's house and stuff like that. So hers is a lot closer than that. And uh, it turns out she, she got a place out by Naga World where uh, my foreign friend here that's been a school teacher here for nine years. And he said he's, he lives by Naga World. And it's, it's nice, he's like, but he's paying $300 a month, but he finds that very affordable for being a foreigner for a fully furnished place. But he's still gotta pay for his utilities and stuff like that. But, but uh, my ex here, she's like I said, she's paying 60. And then she just splits it with that other girl and and how her room is set up you actually go down like a, a dark like three foot wide alley there's barely enough room to get a motorbike through there and uh the the owners they actually had to unlock the door for us we had to knock on the door and then uh you go up a flight of stairs and there's actually two different rooms up there on that one floor and then there's just one bathroom so all the people in the apartments there have to sh share a communal bathroom that's out in the hallway so you got to get dressed up every time you got to go and take a shower or whatever but yeah her room is it's really small but it does have a window um no balcony or anything and uh um but a giant king size bed and i mean it's like a really nice bed so the place is furnished and uh, of course no sink it's all it is is a bedroom there and she's just got a whole bunch of clothes hangers in there just to hang everything up and dry it in there. And then she also dries her clothes in that communal bathroom. I, I don't know how that works out in the long term, because I mean, when you have, you're sharing a bathroom with people in another apartment, I, you would think that when they take showers, they're gonna soak all your clothes again for you. So um, yeah, at about four in the morning, it woke us up and uh, it was just thundering and everything. But then we, we woke up at like 7.30 in the morning. She looks at her clock and she's like, 732 she's like I gotta get to work <laughs> and I was like holy smokes and she's like are you gonna stay here or are you gonna head home and I was like uh, I usually get up at 7 in the morning for breakfast I was like I'm leaving <laughs> and she's like oh okay good <laughs> and uh, so we hurry up and we get dressed and take a shower and, um, and, and and it just amazed me that it was completely dark in that room because I, I was kind of laying in bed for a little bit and I was like oh, it must be still in the middle of the night or whatever and uh, with those dark alleys I mean, it, it keeps it that dark in the room that you still think it's the middle of the night because because like our hostel, I mean, we got a lot of windows, but at 6 or 6.30, you know that it's daylight because there's there's sunlight coming into that room, you know? So <clears throat> we walk out to the end of the alley or whatever, and she stops me, and she's like, uh, <clears throat> we're going to get a tuk-tuk. I'm on my way to work. I don't want to be all sweated up before we go to work. And I was like, good point. I was like, when I go to my school teacher interviews too, I was like, I always take the tuk-tuk so I don't get sweated up, and then I just walk on home like we did the night before and uh so so yeah we we get to our work or whatever and she rushes off the work her boss was 
waiting for her there. And normally he always smiles and waves at me, but I, I don't think he was impressed with her being that late, even though she told me she kind of sets her own hours. Like she's like, oh, I, I show up kind of late to work and then I'll work late too, you know? So um, I guess that's how that was. And then uh, I had kind of a different breakfast today. I always go to that lady that serves the little uh, uh, fried, it's pork inside of a fried bread. So it's like European food. And it's uh, 1,000 Cambodia reels, 25 cents. I always get four of them, but for some reason, two of them yesterday, the pork was like freaking ground up mush rather than like like shredded pork in there. It was freaking disgusting. So I actually had to only eat half of one of them and spit that one out. Then the other one was completely disgusting. I threw that one away, So, but the first two were good. And I was like, I'm not gonna freaking risk it. I've been eat eating at this lady's little restaurant here for the last, I don't know, three months. But, I don't know, maybe she got a bad batch of meat or something. So I ate at that, that Subway shop where you get the Subway combo for $1. And it was good and got to visit with quite a bit of the locals about the rain there. So, and, uh, but yeah, I, those $60 a month rates, you guys, that, that might just be for Kamai people. Because um, uh, my other Kamai friends I've talked to, like, well, my best Kamai friend here in Riverside, she's always got to wheel her cart out here with... Her barbecue and pop and everything so she's got to live really close to riverside and and like she told me she's paying a hundred dollars a month with no air conditioning and uh um it's it's just because of the location of her place and her she doesn't have any furniture no um no bed no nothing and uh like i said my ex-girlfriend here hers is fully furnished but she does have a fan but the fan kept us plenty cool you guys i mean have that blowing directly on you it just evaporates that sweat right right off you and it just you just stay cool so and then oh yeah I guess this phone can handle a, a little bit longer video so when I headed back I visit with a new roommate that just moved in he's from Italy and uh, I, I told him that I've been living here four months he's like oh very cool and he's like how do you like this hostel life and I was like to be completely honest, that's like this is the first hostel I've ever stayed at in my life, and uh, um, and he's like, oh, I, I've stayed at plenty of hostels. He's like in Australia, it's it's just so cheap. It's the only way you can afford to stay in these expensive countries. And he's like, but this this hostel here in in like Asia here, he's like, it's it's weird. And I was like, what do you mean it's weird? I was like, this is the second cheapest hostel here down by Riverside. It's like we're paying. Five dollars a night, and the hostel across the street is three dollars a night. But that place is just, I was like, I it's it's not very nice. The, the bunk beds are shorter and they're kind of yewed. They're just they're just wore out. And he's like, no, he's like, that's not what I mean. He's like, our hostel that we're staying at, he's like, it it doesn't have a, a key to the door to our our big bedroom that we're all sleeping in. And I was like, uh, okay. I was like, we have two security guards downstairs guarding everybody's motorbikes and. And so that anybody that's not staying here doesn't walk in. And uh, and I was like, we have the big giant lockers under our bed for our big suitcase. And he's like, yeah, he's like, yeah, that's okay. But um, he's like, yeah, we all lock our stuff up underneath there or whatever. And I was like, I, and, I, and I mean, a lot of people leave their cell phones next to their head, you know, hooked up to the charger. And I, I know during the pandemic, I read the reviews of our hostel that, that somebody did walk in the middle of the night and walk off with somebody's new iPhone. But... In the four months I've been here, I haven't heard about anybody doing any of that. So, uh, um, which maybe back in 2020, maybe they didn't have the, the two security guards downstairs. Maybe they just had one person. I, I don't know. And, uh, um, but yeah, that, I guess that really bothers him about not having a lock on their actual bedroom where everybody just shares the key to get into the bedroom. So, but, but I mean, even if you did have a key, a person could go to a, some locksmith, locksmith shop and just go ahead and um, make a spare key, I guess. And and that was, then another thing about, that was kind of neat about um, my ex-girlfriend's apartment here, um, for her, the door lock on her actual apartment room, she just has a giant padlock on there, which I remember seeing that over in Thailand, uh, um, the roadie lady or whatever r-o-t-i she makes these banana roadies and uh it went viral there was a, a giant youtube story i don't know in the last year or two years about her um 
how that that's what she does. She's a single mother and works seven days a week and and all that and uh, um, just like the hardest working person in Bangkok, Thailand. You know, that's what the story is about. And and it got over a million views. Just went viral and, and then they let her take over her own YouTube um, YouTube channel. And uh, she still every day she kind of shows her life, just kind of vlogging about it, of her cooking, getting up in the morning. And she puts that big padlock on her little room too and and it, yeah she gets like a million million views a day you guys she doesn't respond to the comments she gets so darn many many views so uh yeah and uh yeah that banana roadie girl in in uh bangkok I, i'm guessing she's like 35 years old you know she had she ended up having enough money now to buy a motorbike and actually i think she even bought a car so so yeah, I, I guess the reason I haven't put out a video is it just takes sort of long to upload you guys with a poor internet connection and everything, but just thought this is kind of a a big deal to announce to you guys that we actually got rain here for the first time in four months. So I'm assuming that now that it started raining that it's not gonna stop. Um, I think this is gonna be like Thailand where it rains every day all the way until, I don't know, I think I think the locals were saying like November. The foreigners here were saying the rain season starts in May. The locals here are saying it starts in June. Some locals were saying it kind of rains whenever the, it starts raining whenever the hell it feels like it. So yeah, just kind of it's kind of nice to washed all the. They always dump all the garbage out in the street every night at all the markets, so it's gonna wash off all the streets and any of the disgusting stuff that gets spilled on the sidewalks and the concrete benches. So. All right, I'll just keep kicking them out from my home and here in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. If you guys like this content, like, share, and subscribe. And peace out, you guys.